Hey guys, this is Jolly Roger, and I'm here with one of my real life friends, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk about some sexual stories, and he says he's got some pretty good ones, so uh, let's let's get it on. Actually, I'd rather save the same for last, so I'll let you go with one first. Oh shit! Make it a nice, sweet, short, good one. All right then, um, <laughs> man. I remember one time, fucking, it wasn't me, but it was William, and uh, you know William, uh, it's, it's one of my real life friends, along with Bryce, he's one of my real life friends, and uh, he, he brought, me, me, my friend Patrick, and my friend William, we, we picked up this chick named, uh, what, 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 what can we name her? We'll, we'll call her, uh, we'll call her Lizzie, alright, that's not a real name, but you know, it's just for her own safety. And, uh, they fucking went into my, uh, friend Patrick's, uh, stepbrother's room, who wasn't there anymore, uh, he had moved out, and William was getting his dick sucked, right? And he says it was a great low job, man. And so, Patrick's sister, Brooke, was there, right? And she's like, Patrick, Dylan, watch this. And she, she knocks on the door. And he's never heard Patrick's mom. He's never met her. And she's like, this is Patrick's mother. You need to come out right now. <laughs> so according to William's part of the story, he, he's fucking hurrying to get his pants on. Taylor's hurrying to get... Damn. I just said her name. Oh, well. Anyway, she's hurrying to, get, hurrying to get her name. God Christ, I suck at this. She's hurrying to get her bra and stuff back on, and she's... And you know, they were all worried and shit, and uh, in the meanwhile, Brooke's like, you two need, you, Patrick, you need to take Dylan home. So what I do is I go and open the door and shut it real hard and make it sound like I've already left. We've left. And so they come out of the room to me, Patrick's sister, and Patrick standing there just laughing our asses off, dude. He was fucking pissed. That was the most epic cock block ever. <laughs> I think I've actually heard that one, but damn I'd be pissed. Dude, I know, it was funny, dude. You should have seen the look on his face, dude. It was a Kodak moment, I swear to God. Sounds like it. It, t it totally was. Alright, I got one for you. It's funny, but it's also not, right? Okay, check this out. So this chick, uh, you know, I used to be a band nerd, right? You know, I played the trumpet all this shit, and this chick, you know, she played trumpet too, right? She was all into me, dude. All this shit right here is straight fan camp shit, right? Yeah, did she so, stick a flute in her pussy? Nah, dude, yeah, she gets better. <laughs> So, check this out, dude. She's fine. She digs me, so I told her one day, I was like, you know what, let's do it. Let's, let's just fuck, you know, and just stay friends, just fuck, you know, one of those situations. Yeah, right? like fuck buddy, right? Yeah. 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 So, you know, we decided to do it, and the one day that she decided that she, you know, was actually able to, you know, go with me back to my house and, you know, do our thing, she, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. She decides to wear this really short skirt, right? And you just one of those super them. sexy yeah, mini skirts? Dude, yeah, dude. And a really low cut shirt, right? So I was like, all right, hell yeah. And she had nice legs to the point where she didn't have to wear those pantyhose and shit. Yeah. So I was like, damn, right when this girl walked up, I was like, all right, well, let's go. You know, I'm, I'm ready for this shit. You know, my dick's hard, let's go. So, my dick is hard, let's do this. So we take my minivan, right? <laughs> my old ass minivan. Before dude. you crash it? Before I flip that bitch, dude. Man, that, was, that shit sucked. Either way, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> But uh, you know, we head back. You know, we go do our we go do our thing, all right? You know, we're about to. How can how can I put this? She just straight up tells me she's like, you know, what I got surprised for. Like, what is that? She's like, I'm wearing a thong. I checked this thing out. This shit was so damn sexy, dude. Black and pink. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> hey, thongs are sexy, man. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I love it when chicks wear thongs when they're about ready to get their jiggly on. You know what I mean? All right. <laughs> so we, you know, we go do this. You know, we're we're in my living room. I was like, how about this? How about we go in the shower? She's like, all right, that sounds like a good idea. You know, kind of nervous about it. I was like, you know, most like most girls are. You know, I was like, all right. Hold on a second. I gotta point this out. I was bragging right here that I could get another chopper easy. Chopper gunner. I could, I didn't fucking get it. Go on. All right. <laughs> so uh, where was I? At? 
So she's finally like, you know, let's do it. So, you know, but she's obviously nervous and I can tell. So, you know, I'm, I'm doing my thing, you know, I'm getting my whole sexy on, you know, yeah. up the legs. Brown chicken, brown, brown. Yeah. So, and she tells me straight up, she's like, I don't want to have sex. I was like, what do you mean? What? She's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bitch, dude. <laughs> this is where it gets funny, dude. I haven't told many people this story, and it, it gets better after all I tell you all this shit. So she's like, you know, why don't you put it in my ass? Uh, <laughs> I, had to think, I had to think about it. I, I just stopped. I was like, what? Dude, you probably got shit in your urethra, and you got nah, fucking dude. gonorrhea and shit. Nah, dude, I'm good, dude. I'm rolling this day. This shit was like six months ago. So, you know, we do our thing in the shower, right? I actually yeah. do this shit there for doggy style. We've got this bitch screaming. So, after we're done, you know... She ends up, you know, we end up going back into the uh, living room, right? Watching TV. She's giving me head. Okay. After straight up all, in the living room? Straight up in the living room. Watching so, TV. Yeah. Dude, and then, dude, this shit. Damn, is she good. But, uh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it was damn good, dude. She can give some head. But, uh, I've met some chicks like that, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. But, uh, you know, we're, we're doing our thing, and I was like, you know, my brother gets home in a little while, but, you know, we'll see how this goes, right? Nah. Not even a minute later, my brother walks through the door and walks in and then looks at me and goes, what the fuck, and slammed the door shut. <laughs> this bitch had her shirt off and had my dick all up in her mouth, dude. <laughs> Alright, so after that, my brother's got memories of that shit and still won't let me down to this day because he caught me with it. You know what the best part is? What? You ready for this? Sure. The chick was black. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> Dude, you told me you banged a black chick, but damn. Dude, Dude I'm gonna mess with your brother about that. I'm gonna be like, hey, you wanna walk in while I'm getting my dick sucked? Dude, my brother, dude, that shit was funny. Me and her were fuck buddies for five months. We did all kinds of shit. Dude, oh, I got, I got Dude, a okay, I gotta ask. I was once told by this fat white guy mm -hmm. that black pussy felt like velvet. I've never fucked a black chick. I don't know. Is it true? No, oh, dude. Just looks like another pussy. Straight up, man. <laughs> All right. They got a weird tongue, though. I don't know why. Black chicks always do. Is it like a cat's tongue? Is it like sandpaper? It's not like sandpaper. It's, it's, I don't know. It's a little bit different. You're like, the only no, white guy that I know that's fucked a black chick. Yeah, dude. Oh, was she fine? For yeah, black she was fine. Like dude. Rihanna fine? Or? Yeah, she has some big ass tits, dude. Hey, I've met, I've met a couple black chicks with some big ass tits. One time... Like, this isn't exactly a sexual story, but it's funny. Uh, one time this chick, she bought some suspenders from Hot Topic. She's like, hey, Jolly, help me put them on. Of course, Jolly isn't my real name. I don't want people on YouTube knowing my real name, if you know what I mean. But she's like, Jolly, help me put these on. And I'll, dude, this chick's got like double D, 38 fucking double Ds, right? And she's like half black. And, oh my god, this chick was fucking stupid. You remember how me and JC were talking about that Desiree chick? Yeah. It was her. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, uh, dude, she had some big ass titties, and I couldn't help but pop on, a, a, pop a fucking heart on while I was helping her put on these suspenders, because I, I was all, like, tip of her nipple, and, you know, I'm not, like, really, like, sexually deprived or anything, and I wasn't at that time, especially, but damn, dude. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that. Damn! I threw her out of Chicken Express because she couldn't co stop complaining about how the chickens were being killed in the back. And I'm like, you dumb bitch, they're already dead. And her mom literally let me pick her up and throw her out of Chicken Express slash KFC. She already, dude, you already told me she was her. She's like a dumb bitch. She is. <laughs> like well, we got like a minute left, man. You got anything special? Um. Go for it. Alright, so all these dudes go over, right? And a friend of mine, Zach, brings his, uh, you know, his, his cousin over, right? Yeah. She's pretty fine. She's yeah. 19. You know, red hair. The perfect age. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. perfect age, you know. So we all get wasted, right? There's like five dudes. Me, uh, my best friend that invited me over there, and then some other dude who's completely queer. And, uh, <laughs> Then there was the other dude that my friend brought, and then there was the guy that was the cousin of the girl, right? Okay, yeah. So there was like five of us over there, right? Or maybe six, I don't know. Wait, I got stopped handling after a while because I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> so we get Because I couldn't. So we, so we got a couple of flashes, right? And then we're sitting in the hot tub chilling, 
And my best friend looks over at a uh, the guy, the girl, the girl's cousin, and was like, after she left, and was like, you know what, Zach, I have to ask you straight up, would it be fine if I fucked your cousin? Would you have any problem like that? And he was like, straight up, no, I have no problem with that. <laughs> so later on that night, he goes to talk to her and ask her about it. She's like, no, I'm gay, and all this other shit. Come and find out this bitch is gay, dude. That's the best part. So. Really, really drunk, you know. I mean, her. I'm just sitting there chilling. Next thing I know, my hands up off her leg, almost straight up in the pussy, right? Yeah. So I was like, all right, let's go upstairs, dude. I don't remember what happened. All I know is I woke up with scratch marks, dude. Best shit ever. <laughs> all right, man. Well, the this gameplay is coming to an end. I'll probably throw a couple bonus clips after that. Uh, you got anything to say? Happy fucking. Happy fucking. All right, I can deal with that. Um, alright guys, if you liked the video, give me a like, give me a comment, let me know what you think, and uh, like my homie said, happy fucking, uh, rap it before you tap it. You know what, since I'm going to throw some bonus clips after this, I might as well tell this story right here, and you're probably going to laugh your ass off, and so is the rest of everybody else, but I remember one time where, uh, one of my homeboys, you know, he, he was fixing to get his dick wet, and this is all I know about this story, the chick asked, do you have a condom? He's like, no, I, I really don't use those. She's like, well, if you're going to fuck me, you need a condom. So he went downstairs to the kitchen, grabbed saran wrap. Right? <laughs> he grabbed some saran wrap and wrapped his dick in saran wrap, okay? And fucked this bitch since. Would you ever do that? I'd, I'd straight up have to ask the guy how the shit felt. Otherwise, <laughs> Alright guys, well, leave me a like and a comment, a favorite if you really like this video, and uh, thanks a lot, peace.